I was walking with a friend of mine, Robert Medley, now a painter. I don't remember how the conversation started, but at one point he asked me if I ever wrote poetry, and I said no. So the thought had never entered my mind. All his poetry is about love, one form or another, if you stop to look at it. What I really feel is that, I, when I've said this about all the arts, what Dr. Johnson said about writing. He said the aim of writing, the sole aim of writing, is to enable readers a little better to enjoy life or a little better to endure it. Well, he certainly was monogamous. He was uh, very faithful. Uh, you know, one night stands and, and, and easing oneself is, has nothing to do with infidelity. I mean, there's fidelity and infidelity. I don't think Winston ever betrayed Chester, and in a very strange way, until late in life, Chester never really betrayed Winston. He had other lovers. But the really secret great love was for Winston. I've always thought of myself as a comic poet. A poet enchants for the purpose of disenchanting people. But nothing I wrote prevented one Jew being gassed on a spoon before my five seconds. The poet I really take to my heart uh, is rooted in common sense. He died marvellously, by the way. The other thing the arts can do, of course, they are chief method of communicating with the dead. He had his last words ready, which were, this has never happened to me before. <laughs>